Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick variant for guides, Waning Moon. So this is probably the easiest of the of the variants. It's kind of like your gateway into variant, um, albeit the first couple of chapters are a little bit difficult, but it gets easier as you go through. Um, so bear in mind, before attempting any variant, um, I always say try to finish Act 5. You can even probably go Cav before attempting the variants. Um, and you also, like Satan always suggests, you also want to be doing... Um, all your art collected 100% every uh, every month. So, with that being said, though, this is probably the easiest variant to get into, and the completion rewards are kind of nice because uh, if it's easy enough to complete, you can get uh, another rank four um, champ, you can get another five star hero, uh, you can get like a fifth of a T5B, which allows you to rank five somebody uh, and some shards, and on the way, you pick a few uh, rank three to, to rank, sorry, rank two to rank three gems, not rank four to rank 2 to rank 3 gems, not rank 4 to rank 5, because that's, you get that on complete exploration. So, with that being said, this one works a little bit differently in the fact that you start off with kind of like your 6 star and 5 star champs, and you work your way progressively towards 1 star champs. So this rewards diversity of champs uh, over like putting all your eggs into one basket. So let's start with the first chapter. Um, the good news is there's only kind of like 3 paths. And the easier path here is going to depend on your roster and who you have as your five stars. So if you have like Warlock who can power drain um, or, you know, like a six star Dormammu or something, then this all or nothing path will probably be nice and easy for you uh, because you'll never be throwing specials and it's re you're not really fighting anyone that's really difficult. Uh, maybe Mordo, but if you can kind of drain him on the parry, then uh, that's absolutely fine. Um, so that's probably actually the easiest path but most of us maybe not have a power drainer we'll probably find this other path easier the bottom one which which has uh, got strike back so that means that you hit them and they gain one bar of power so you just got to be careful about the timing of your uh, sps um there's only a couple of really tricky fights here the very first one which is namor can be a little bit annoying to begin with um but the but it's right at the right on your doorstep so you can get it a few times and then it's it's pretty straightforward um Heimdall is pretty easy, just evade the SP1. Void is pretty easy, uh, evade the SP1 or the SP2. Kingpin, evade the SP1. Uh, Loki, evade the SP1. Miles is a little bit tricky. You kind of want to parry and three hit here because um, he can he can get at you quite quickly. Uh, he evades quite a lot, obviously, and, and it's a pretty big health pool. Um, Scarlet Witch can sometimes throw poison on, poison on you, so having somebody that can shake off debuffs quite nicely uh, is pretty good. Obviously, Aegon would be quite ideal for clearing this lane. Uh, but there's various other options. The thing with the synergy is fantastic for clearing this lane as well. That's, I think, who I used. Uh, and then you come up against the boss, the Electro boss. Now, Electro, uh, I've got a one shot off him with Havoc, uh, but Electro has quite a few counters, and he's actually probably one of the most annoying bosses because you have to have a specific counters to him uh, and a specific style. So uh, let's go through the nose. First of all, he's stun immune, which takes the whole parry and hit out of the game. Uh, then he's got this crackling energy node, which means that if you hit him with a physical attack, he puts a passive energy damage, like a, like an energy degen of, uh, on you that deals 50% uh, of your health. So half a percent of your max health for 10 seconds. Uh, these are gonna stack right up until you hit him with a non-contact attack. Now, if all your attacks are contact, guess what? You're gonna die real, real quick. Um, he's also got increased power gain and he's got this uh, uh, enhanced SP1 and SP1 bias. So he's going to cycle through the SP1s. Um, now, there is a trick to playing this guy. Um, you can go watch uh, my variant for one shot, uh, the, se the secret counter, where I uh, take him on with Havoc and I kind of show and break down my thinking and my strategy. But pretty much what you want to do here is you kind of want to evade his sp1 as much as possible don't push him to his sp2 so you can evade it um he is stun immune so just bear that in mind that if he comes at you you're not going to be able to parry him but then you have to have someone who does have a non-contact um non-contact in their attack so a few people who have non-contact is domino domino has non-contact on her first light hit She's got a non-contact on her second medium and the final heavy. Don't worry about the heavy because you're not really going to be doing heavy. So what this means is you can use medium-medium or medium-light medium combos. Or um, actually with Domino, you can use her entire combo uh, because you're going to go medium-light-light-light-medium. Her second medium is non-contact and that will shake off all the lesions. Uh, Havoc 
his mediums, uh, all his mediums and heavies are non-contact, as well as his final light. So what that means is you can either go, you can use a medium light medium combo, or you can use a medium four light combo. But bear in mind, medium light medium works best because you don't really want to push him to his SP2. Um, and also another added uh, benefit of Havoc is that you absorb that energy damage and you convert that into plasma, which in, in turn does damage to, uh, to Electro remotely without you having to contact him and you don't get any of that reflect damage. Uh, Mordo, you can use, you can kind of like power gain and just use that SP1 just to spam um, and eventually hopefully degen him down. Ebony Mo as well. Ebony Mo, everything but the first light uh, attack makes contact. So your normal medium three light mediums combo or medium four lights, none of those make um, contact. So he's a great one against um, against Electro. Uh, and also you got Falter as well, which adds in kind of like that element of, uh, of safety. Um, other people have used uh, Captain Marvel movie, <laughs> obviously that degen damage gets converted for her and it puts you into binary ignition pretty quick which makes you indestructible and deal a lot of damage so a quick way around him is to take that damage go into indestructible throw the sp2 do as much damage as you can and then you probably end up dying throw one revive and then rinse and repeat and you can take care of him uh, hyperion with his sp1 you can just spam sp1 incinerate and get let that damage over time that way you're never touching him uh, you've got your natural power gain and the damage over time will take care of him. We've covered Domino, we've covered Havoc, we've covered Mordo, we've covered Ebony Mo. Awakened Corvus Glaive is quite good as well. Awakened Corvus Glaive means you can't die from the Dijon damage. Um, so you can either use the... Well, you actually can't use the parry uh, light hit uh, trick. So what you can do is you can do as much damage as you can, um, use up all your Glaive charges, throw that SP2, and then within a couple of revives you're able to take care of him. Uh, Gulk is a good counter as well because Gulk takes that uh, degen and then he regenerates 70% of it and while you're while that's on you you're doing a ton more damage as well um, through his ability to Electro so he's a good counter. Um, on my list here I've kind of got Unit Man after that which is kind of true but uh, some other good counters are Elsa. Elsa has some non-contacts as well in her um, in her combo. Uh, and obviously does a ton of damage with uh, the busted mechanic. Um, Iron Man Infinity War as well has, uh, you can throw that SP1, which I know he doesn't take shock damage, but he's also got a lot of non-contacts in his combo, and that's another really good option. And the other option that works like an absolute hack is Bishop. Uh, with Bishop, what happens is um, you hit him, he casts all those Dijon on you, and basically your prowess just goes right up through the roof and then and you power gain right up through the roof and you can just throw sp2s and sp or sp3s uh and clear that and do tremendous amounts of damage it's just like a like an energy battle it's like watching dragon ball z like it's kamehameha versus kamehameha uh, but he is a fantastic counter um for that so if you have any of those guys uh, any of those options you're able to kind of get through this guy um uh, otherwise, take your best champ, do as much damage as you can to him, and then revive. Um, quite honestly, probably through the first round run, unless you have a perfect counter to this guy, you're probably not going to be able to one-shot him, so you're going to have to spend a, a few units. Um, but once you get past this, you're kind of... It's going to progressively get easier, right? Okay, so let's go to uh, uh, map 2 of chapter 1. So map 2 of versus chapter 1, you end up against Deadpool. And um, you can't bring six stars into this one. You have to bring five star. I'll actually bring my new Doctor Doom. I'm gonna. I'm so excited. Uh, I've just popped Doctor Doom like yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna do some videos on him. I'm gonna take him around and, and play around and get familiar with him first. But um, yeah, uh, stay tuned. There's gonna be some gameplay, some Doctor Doom gameplay coming up soon. So um, there's a couple of paths here. Uh, I think probably the easiest one is this Domino one. Um, this Domino one basically has really no, no nodes of uh, of note apart from Fury and uh, they do a lot of damage. But uh, Domino is probably the trickiest fight on there. But then you've got Red Skull, which is evade the SP1, win the game. Um, Hello, the SP1, the SP2, easy to evade. 
Thor with the SP1 and the SP2, but you might need a power controller for him. And King Groot, pretty easy to evade the SP1. And then you get right, uh, right up to the boss. The other path you can go, um, if you are a little bit careful, is the second one, which means that they're quite aggressive. Uh, and their medium dash is immune to debuff. So basically, they're immune to like parry. They're immune to um, they're immune to stun while they dash at you, and they can shake off their debuffs when they're coming at you. So it's a little bit more annoying. Uh, but if you have some heavy damage dealers, you can kind of go through this um, just fine as well. If you don't want to face Domino, because Ronan is Ronan is pretty easy. Cull is pretty easy. Sentinel is a little bit tricky. Taskmaster is pretty easy, and Hood's pretty easy. So then that then you end up at the final boss, and the final boss is Deadpool. And this Deadpool kind of has a few nodes that are uh, worthy of note. So Mighty Charge, when he dashes at you, he's going to go unstoppable. Uh, and he's also immune to debuff, so it means you can't parry him. When he comes at you, you have to evade. Uh, he's got Limber, which means you can't stun him too many times. Uh, unless, of course, you've got Domino, uh, Red Hulk, uh, and Massacre. Um, he's also got double power gain, but he's, that doesn't matter because he's never going to actually use any specials. He doesn't use SP1, SP2, or SP3. He's got 0% uh, chance of using those. His bleeds really hurt, and, and he's got counter strikes. So if you dex, you gain fury on um, you gain fury, uh, but at 10 fury charges, he's going to go unblockable. But I think he's pretty much unblockable anyway. Um, so the fundamentals are: he's got minus 100% chance to use special attack, so he can't use a special attack, but under one power, under one bar of power, um, his damage is reduced by ninety five percent. So you're only doing five percent. You're doing no, no damage to him. Uh, over one bar, you can do full damage again. But he's got uh, plus twenty one hundred block penetration. And then over two bars, all his attacks are unblockable. And then over three bars, all his attacks are unblockable. And if he charges a heavy or he's about to do uh, do a heavy, he deals fifty percent of his damage uh, to you. So. With that being said, uh, there's a couple of ways to cheese this guy, um, and I've got a I've got a video on how to cheese him with a Captain Marvel movie. You can use Hyperion to use the same method, or basically anyone with a nasty heavy. It's basically just the first bit of the fight. You have to parry, you have to push him, you have to get him into the corner, and then it's just a matter of like chaining heavy after heavy after heavy after heavy. Uh, and because he can never break out of that cycle with a, a special, um, you can just keep him cornered and, and kill him really, really quickly. Um, otherwise, if you want to fight him properly, you might need a power controller. So, um, you know, uh, like Doom can steal his power and get him down. Vision can kind of try to keep him between that one and two power. Uh, you can play around with Magic as well. You can play around with Dormammu. You can play around with Ebony Mo. Um, all those are would be good options. But I found the easiest way is to just to chase him with either CMM or Hyperion. Um, so this guy, if you if you figure him out and if you've got a good counter, um, he's actually not that bad, right? Uh, so definitely easier than the first Electro boss. But you might still you might still struggle with him. And if you do, don't worry. A lot of people have struggled with the, with these two. After that, though, it gets pretty easy. So chapter two. Um, so chapter two, you're only allowed to use four stars, um, and basically there's. You, the easy path depends again on what you have. Um, I find the easiest one to be this one here, with Matador and Power Shield, so and Oscillate. So that means the fifteen every fifteen seconds are gonna either come at you and start launching stuff all the time, or they're gonna be very defensive. Now the Power Shield means that you don't do any damage, but you do at four hundred percent damage from your specials. So basically, it takes just one like SP two to to take care of this uh, this lane, but you can't gain power naturally because of the Matador. So that means you only gain one bar of power when they throw a bar of power. So Domino kind of kills this lane. You come in, you push uh, crossbones to SP1, evade it, push him to the SP1 again, evade it, throw one SP2, and that takes care of Domino. Um, or anyone who does a, a ton of damage from their specials. Anyone who's got like prowess, um, the new Storm would, uh, Storm X would do fantastic on this line. Uh, you know, Mordo, anyone who, uh, anyone who's got prowess, Havoc would absolutely destroy this line as well. Um, so yeah, the fights are pretty easy as well. You've got Crossbones, Venom, uh, Venom Pool, Evade SP1, the SP2, pretty easy. Uh, Ant-Man, probably Evade SP1 is probably the easiest. Vision, Evade SP1 or the SP2. Cyclops, learn how to evade both SPs, they're pretty easy. And the only really tricky fight on this path is Ebony Mo. You might have to bring a counter for him, um, 
just to kind of knock him down uh, or to deal that degen but also just be aware that be aware of his falter like you the one the one mistake you don't want to make is you don't want to be throwing specials when he's got falter uh, on because that means you'll miss this uh, you'll miss the special and then you've got to spend a lot of time getting back to the sp2 or the sp3 and this whole time he's going to be doing the deterioration degen damage over time and that will quickly eat away at you um but yeah other than that if if you can throw the sp2 he's he's uh he's pretty easy so then the final boss is wolverine and wolverine has vigorous assault which means that whenever he's got a region buff he's got increased attack and all his attacks become unblockable uh, you can't modify his region uh, if he's backed up against the wall he gains a passive fury and ar armor every three seconds and that means you can't pin him and do a lot of damage to him and if he's cornered which means uh, if you do damage over time to him he power gains 200 percent so the best way to play against this guy he's basically is unblockable the best way is to play him like a sun immune rhino basically um is to kind of stay away from him bring in mystics um that can nullify or stagger so i found um uh, symbiote supreme was the best against this guy but scarlet witch and dr voodoo work just as well if you have uh black widow clairvoyant she works as well uh, if you have doom and you can nullify he works as well uh, really really any mystic uh, man thing as well he's immune to bleed and he can nullify really any mystic that can nullify because what you want to do is you want to get rid of that uh, region so that um, he's not unblockable and then it just becomes a normal fight of kind of parrying hitting with symbiote supreme it becomes uh, a fight about managing the power gain uh, and managing the damage over time because you're going to be throwing sp3s you're going to be pulling out all his region all his unstoppable everything and then giving him bleed giving him a few hits baiting out that sp2 and then rinsing and repeating that process for a little while but this fight is really not that bad with the mystic um, he's not really a terrible boss um, so yeah he's only like geared at 4x your pi so he's he's much easier than electro and deadpool as you can see there's a trend in this variant everything is getting easier so then you come against this boss and this one you only have we can only take with three stars this next map uh, and this uh, so the easiest path here I think I've taken this right one and this right one for completion is very easy it's burden of might and power alternator uh, also if you have a Corvus glaive this is a, a perfect path for him because by the time you finished with um, Psylocke which will take up all your charges and then and then some and sentinel which you might be able to finish in one charge round by the time you have those two charges you can clear through the rest of the line careful of um, thor ragnarok i wouldn't suggest using corvus against him even though you want to get the block and you want to get the avengers uh, i used the archangel for this guy um, and then the rest is pretty easy doc ox pretty easy uh agent venom pr pretty easy hawk buster is pretty easy and then you come to the final boss and the final boss he's only kind of got uh two nodes well th let's say three nodes kind of worth mentioning so he's got clap back which means if you have uh, a champ that deals poison shock bleed incinerate or plasma uh, whenever you place it on moon knight he's going to place one back on you a hundred percent of the time so you don't take someone in who's going to do damage over time that they can't handle so for example uh well iceman's a bad example because it's not called snap but like iceman he can deal ice but he takes ice nick fury is, a, is another example uh he can deal bleed but he's not immune to bleed right so he's he's best he's bad to bring into this fight whereas someone like dr doom is good because he can deal shock but he is immune to shock um so someone like that or uh, or human torch he can deal incinerate but he's immune to incinerate so those guys those kind of guys are better um aggression fury that means he's going to be building damage over time and the main one is this mix master so that means if you attack him with the same basic attack twice in a row he's got a hundred percent chance to evade so you can't just use your medium four lights or medium three lights and medium combo because he's going to evade that second light every single time so you have to change your mentality around this fight a little bit uh, and kind of fight him as if you were fighting sentinel with the analysis charges so basically parry light medium light medium or parry medium light medium or maybe throw heavy in there uh, but it also means you can't bring uh, like uh, you can't bring domino and archangel and just parry and heavy all the time if you parry and heavy once you have to parry and light medium next and then parry and heavy again um so it's a it's a tricky um it's a tricky fight but it's not too bad once you kind of get the hang of that 
it's really about switching up your attacks making sure you don't repeat the same one uh, and then also balancing out that fury aggression so if you're using someone like archangel you might want to concentrate on heavies but every second combo just do a medium like medium to get his fury aggression to zero because the more that builds up the more damage he's going to do and uh, even on the block right so uh, this this fight can be a little bit tricky but it, with those hints and tips you should be able to take care of it not a problem um, and there is a video on my channel of me doing this with havoc and just completely taking him down in one shot so then you come to the final two chapters and these are the easiest chapters yet once you're here you're as good as done so this one you can only attack um, attack with two stars and um, this one here has got a really easy path which is life transfer fantastic you do damage and you uh, life steal 125 percent uh, but you take some decent damage in return now this this fight is great because it just keeps you topped up the whole way and you reach the boss 100 percent with all five um, of your characters so uh really easy line you can bring anyone uh, in here i brought star lord uh took care of vulture very easy evade the sp1 took care of cable uh, evade the sp1 or the sp2 uh, or even block them uh, Ensemble Colossus, evade the SP1 or the SP2, Groot, evade the SP1, Iceman, evade the SP1. Uh, but it doesn't matter anyway, even if you take damage, because you could do just you could just regenerate all that damage by hitting them back. And then you come to the final boss, who's Moon Knight. And this Moon Knight really has nothing uh, of note. His bleeds are enhanced, and his furies are enhanced, and his stupefies are enhanced, and he's got enhanced crit. So if he does catch you with a bleed, you're as good as dead. But if he doesn't catch you with a bleed, he's pretty much just a standard Moon Knight nothing special about him i came in with uh, i think star lord uh, and took care of this guy in about 80 hits um so this is kind of like a giveaway chapter and then you're on to the very final chapter and the final chapter you can only do with one stars and this chapter is kind of interesting because you're a little bit limited on um you're kind of limited with who you have right like it's not like you can buy one stars um and so it's just whoever you had lying around from the beginning of the game. So the easy path here is this very right one with stun vulnerability and Ragnarok. That means that when you under parry, um, you're doing 200% damage and it makes this line really, really easy. Uh, Thor Ragnarok's very easy, evade SP1, evade SP2, uh, guillotine, parry, heavy, all day long. Um, Scarlet Witch, maybe you need a poison immune, but yeah, basically just stun her and hit her sp1 sp2 both pretty easy to evade human torch sp1 is pretty easy to evade uh, so actually it's a little bit complex to evade but you you can take care of him groot sp1 is easy to evade and then you come to the final boss now the final boss has a couple of tricky nodes he is vulnerable to bleed so under bleed he does 200 percent more damage and his sp2 is unblockable but the main the main killer here is echo barrier or the main annoying node is echo barrier it's not difficult uh, but it basically means he starts with this energy barrier with 15 charges and you can hit him you can bleed him or you can armor break him to remove a charge and you can only do damage to him when the charges are down to zero so when you remove all charges otherwise he's immune to all damage um, so bleeders are the best for this fight if you bring in black panther or wolverine you're going to have no problems here it's particularly wolverine i don't have wolverine though so uh, i use black panther uh, and my backup was Gamora because she can armor break um, as well on her specials. Um, but yeah, basically it's going to be a really long fight. But you just keep hitting. Half the time he's going to be uh, immune to all damage. And half the time he's going to be taking damage. Uh, and if you just play smart and you bait out SP1s and SP2s, eventually you're just going to get this guy down. And you're going to finish variant 4. And you're going to get your 5 star rank 3 to rank 4 gem. Congrats. So uh, I hope this helped. I hope this guide really broke it down, and I hope it helped out. Um, if it did, like, leave a comment below, um, leave a thumbs up, or subscribe to the channel and help us support it. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Kakita, no bros and girls.